MLB the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Mets and the New York Yankees. These two square off on the diamond right after this. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock-solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. Now at the plate, Brandon Nimmo, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Brandon, He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. First pick, 1 o'clock. The windup and the 0-1. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Cole, or the Cole train as he's frequently called. He was a first round pick back in 2011. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Good break on the knuckle curve, but he missed with it. Two and one. Clear skies this afternoon. 84 degrees is our first pitch temperature. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Hey, not an easy thing to do right there, Dero, with that stacked infield on the right side. To hit it through where the shift is, you have to hit that in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he found a good result right there, Dan. Pitcher actually executed right there, got him to hit it where he wanted to, put good barrel, good contact on that ball, and was able to find the hole. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto, as he swings and misses at a first-pitch fastball, 0-1. His career line against Garrett Cole, he's gone two for six. He's taken him deep once. Over to first, Cole, a dive, but he's back. Nimmo, aboard here at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit, you understand that he's got his own zone. Uh, you touched on it, d -Roy. I think he rewards the veteran players, not only pitchers, but position players. He makes the younger players. He makes them earn their keep. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Michael Conforto goes down for the first out of the game. J.D. Davis the next to bat he swings and misses throw down he is not in time pretty close but he got in there safely so he swipes second successfully but you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters well that's a good point man but I'd be a little surprised if that's the case it's still early and the game is tied so that would be a pretty cautious move to pitch around him here or just walk him flat out one strike now from Cole one one and one runner at second here with one man out can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two Working for the punch out and the offering. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down on only four pitches. And what I liked about all of those pitches was they were down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. Ioannis Cespedes striding in next as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Ready with the 0-1. Oh 
Fastball well outside. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judge is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Mets strand one. Mets zero. The Yankees coming up. It's crosstown action on Major League Baseball, the show. Jacob DeGrom gets the ball for the Mets in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Jacob DeGrom is just a solid pitcher. He's not overpowering in any sense with any of his three pitches. Good sinking fastball, 93 to 96. Great slider and a really good changeup. What makes him so good? He'll throw all three of his pitches at any time. So striding in, DJ LeMayhew. He'll lead things off Second here in the bottom half of the first. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's got three base hits in 17 at bats. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. LeMahieu has a history in coming through in the clutch moments, of course. It's always a little bit of a debate whether or not being clutch is actually a trait that a player possesses. But with him, there's no denying it. We've seen him deliver in big moments repeatedly throughout his career. It just seems he elevates his game somehow and the pressure is on. Yeah, Matty, he has definitely put that debate to rest. He has absolute ice water in his veins. Two balls and two strikes now. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. I really liked it. He gave up nibbling out of the zone trying to get him to chase. That wasn't working, so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher than throwing a fastball right by a guy. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Nimmo is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Batting third, the center fielder, Aaron Hicks. Stepping up now, Aaron Hicks. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Nope. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that's inside and a bit low anyways. It's 2-0. 2-0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Now here's the pitch. 3-0 and oh now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Two out, nobody on. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. Batting four. The designated hitter. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's a 3-33 hitter. Also of note, the four home runs he's hit against him. First pitch on its way. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off-speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. The 0-1 on its way. Ball one. Got two balls. 
One strike. Hicks leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Throw over to the bag oh, and ready. the runner back easily. And again a throw and he has to dive but he's back in easily. Now the 2 1. He's taken high above the zone. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. A runner on first with two away. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in the game or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone or if he continues to struggle. Coming to the plate now, Luke Voigt. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. From the stretch. Ball. Ball one, no play. Two men are on with two men out. A ball and a strike. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on, and that last pitch looked like a big mistake in that location. Right down the middle, but he got away with it. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. And there's a base hit on the line. And the run will cross to make this a 1-0 Yankee lead. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D-Roy. You get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Gio Urshela is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. This is exactly the situation you drew up from an offensive standpoint. Good pitcher on the mound, but you got a chance to bury him early in this one. The 0-1 offering. Hit out towards second. There's Cano. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Yankees forced to settle for one. One inning in the books here. It's the Yankees one, and the Mets nothing. Second inning set to go, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Robinson Cano. Cano waits on the first pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Cano's around first on his way for second now. And the Mets have something going with nobody out. It's a leadoff double. Now that's the way you answer. They're down one nothing already, but he laces the double and puts himself in the scoring position. That'll get the dugout fired up and excited to punch back. Here's Pete Alonzo as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Right 
swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that. It hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Into the box, Dominic Smith, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Cano, the runner at second with one away. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner, two and two. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. 2-2, here it is. On a rope to the second baseman. Throw to the bag, and the runner's back in time. Next for the Mets, Andres Jimenez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here comes the first pitch. Knuckle curve down below the knees, 1 0. Yankees lead this 1 0 here in inning number two. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Jimenez, just 21 years of age, this is his first year at the big league level. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside, 1 and 2 now. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Here comes the one and two. Chases out of the zone for strike three, and that's the third out of the inning. Mets leave one. It remains one nothing. Now at the plate, Clint Frazier. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Pitch on the way. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. One and one, the count to Clint Frazier. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. And the 2-1. Line drive to center field. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning. Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulder square, his hands inside the baseball, and was able to fight off a good, nice executed pitch for a knock. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as he rips it on the ground to second. Oh, how about Cano to second for one? Just late. He's safe. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Boy, that was a smooth play, wasn't it?